we've got a special guest in the studio joining us. And he's a big old boy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so short, like shorter than normal, you know? Yeah. How yeah. tall are you? Um, are I'm you? A, a really tall. Five, are you really? Th- five foot three. <laughs> a five foot three. Really tall. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm... He has hair taller than you. I, oh. <laughs> that's so true. I actually identify much taller than I am in real yeah, life, yeah, so yeah. it's a struggle for me. Do you? Yeah. Our boy Dave made this happen. Dave, who yeah. we have? Shane Runyon is here with us, and uh, he is he has a song with us right now that's playing on 93.1 really? WHR awesome. called and Tattoos. That's, that's right. right. And uh, he's joining us this morning to talk about his it's song. good to be here. Yeah. We appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Beautiful studio. Oh, Thank thanks. Beautiful city. We think so, An too. An unbelievable drive up the side of the mountain to get here. Mm. Truly. That, as, <laughs> as a, as a that fact, ladies and gentlemen, was sarcasm. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. In fact, in fact, I almost got myself in trouble because we're driving up the side, mm. and we kept saying, oh, my God, just look at that view. Look off to the side. Mm-hmm. So finally, I, st- I, was like, I stopped. I'm like, hey, hold on. Give me a second. Mm-hmm. I get out, start taking pictures. I'm like, you know, Shane, we have a... We have a radio thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, 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 but it was beautiful. I thought yeah. before the sun rises. I mean, it's it's Pikeville's where it's at. It, it is. It really is. We think I mean, so too. Thank this you. This is just a great place to be. So where are you from? Well, I was born and spent the first half of my life in Charleston, West Virginia. It's where all my family's awesome. from. All right. And uh, I spent the second half of my life from middle school on in uh, in Portsmouth, Ohio. Okay. In the, okay. In the greater Portsmouth area. So like Dave. The, the red yes. light capital of the world. Yeah, that's right. That's Portsmouth. right. Now yeah, wait, oh, define uh, red light. Well, you Traffic's know, you light. got a okay. good, <laughs> you right. got a good roll going. You know, cruise control set. Yes. Yeah. So, oh, oh so red was, light. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Start yeah. up again. Those are the ones I was hoping yeah. you were talking. That's yes. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right, we yeah. we mean. I mean, now there are some different things we could say about boards, but we'll just <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> What's the shortcut? Rose, was it Rosemont Garden? It goes. There's over a, the, uh, yeah, Rosemont Hill. Yeah. Yeah. Rosemont. You go Hill. over the hill and you can kind of bypass it. Awesome. But uh, huh. well, actually, no. Now this is sad. I don't know how to feel about it. Right. This is mm-hmm. getting borderline political. But what's kind of sad is they are putting a bypass in. From oh. one highway to the next. So we are literally about to be... 52 to 23? Yeah, okay. yeah. We're about to be wiped mm. off the map. So mm. so it, for everybody here in Pikeville, you know, when you're when you're making your travels, you're no longer ever going to see Portsmouth. You're not going to be required to that's go through right. Portsmouth. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But well, hey... Interesting. But we have some great things, a good community, wonderful people. So tell us about your current travels. I mean, obviously you're doing a little tour here with radio stations right. and <clears> promoting <throat> the song. Uh, and tell us about the song. Yeah, well, we're we're promoting a song called Tattoos. It's a song that's really, really dear to my heart. It's um, this last album we put out is is very much like a me album. Mm-hmm. You know, so so I used to be a middle school teacher. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. I t- used right. To, I used to teach history, and awesome. um, and I did that actually in Greenup County, Kentucky, right across the river from. Okay. Me. And so I, I taught for a long time, and um, and. You know, once I, I got a little bit of a break and was able to, to play music for a living, um, the realization hit me. You actually have to play these songs night after, after night, night. Oh. after night. Yes. And so, like, you know, uh, so then I'm like, oh, my God, this is how this works. So the next album we made, which is, is called Eastwood, which is what Tattoos is from, um, I was like, you know what? Let's just selfishly put the kind of songs that I want to sing night after night and and tattoos is very much a me song i never expected anybody to latch to it and i'll be daggone if that ain't the one everybody very cool. that's just the way it works right they yes they, you know it's like nobody want to hear this but uh yes yeah, so we're promoting it we are right in the middle um again me wanting to give back to young folks we're doing a um a uh, 25 stop uh 38 school district um drug free tour Cool. Tell me about that. That yeah. sounds very interesting. That's very cool. Very different. So what is a drug-free tour? Well, good question. Mm-hmm. So what it is is, uh, you know, I, I never um, I never thought that, that the drug-free movement was something that I would be involved with in mm-hmm. this way just because I never thought it was something that I could personally have an impact in. Yeah. Um, but, I, again, I do love uh, high school students and, and, and young folks are obviously where it's at. They are our future, as cliche as that is. And, and so I was invited to play a rally. Uh, drug-free rally and I thought oh man this is going to be oh you know it's gonna be a long day right right and I got there and I immediately was like oh my god I, you know I was so moved by you know seeing these young people because the skeptic in me mm-hmm. was like they're just skipping class yeah you know mm-hmm. but right, then I right. saw how sincere they were mm-hmm. and like the high school quarterback was there hand in hand and and every literally every 
type of student you could imagine was there supporting each other and they were giving their testimonies about how the drug epidemic has affected their life so nonetheless i saw how sincere and wonderful um the drug free clubs of america was you kind of get a hold of the fact it was a real deal yeah and they're based out of cincinnati again ohio guy so I knew that that we were going to have kind of this this little open slot in the month of March, beginning of April, and um, I knew it was going to be there. And we were talking about radio and God willing, if if tattoos would catch on, which again, thank you guys, it is. You guys have given me the platform to do Wonderful. this, so it all kind of the stars aligned. And I said uh, to the Drug Free Clubs of America, I said, Hey, I'm going to have some time. Um, I would love to go to these schools, put on a full production show for them. We bring in a stage. <laughs> we bring in nice. a stage and risers. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And and we um we put on a full show for them and before I play the song Tattoos, um, we kinda kinda take them to church a little bit and sure, sure, and, sure. and I just tell them, Hey, you know, we're here to have a good time, but there is a, a message I also want to share with them. And so you're asking, what's this about? Mm-hmm. So it's number one, a good time. Mm-hmm. And number two, it's my opinion, my humble opinion on what our solution is. Because you can't just tell people not to do something true Mm -hmm. you know you have to tell them a solution there's this awesome jack nicholson movie good as it gets right yeah i love that movie. yeah well there's this line where he's down and out and woe is me and this guy's explaining it to him like oh you, you know and there's this great movie line where he says look man he goes i'm drowning here and all you're doing is describing the water yes he says, I'm drowning. That's really All you're good. doing is describing the water. So we try to give them the solution. So what I tell them, you know, because in my life with, you know, the ups and downs, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the only common denominator I have found um, th- where the dots connect and what's made me happy through good times, bad times is my relationships with people, mm-hmm. my spiritual relationship sure. with the man upstairs and, and focusing on serving people having a connection with people and so that's what we tell them we go in and we say hey focus on your relationships you know don't hit like on social (laughs) media be there for them talk to them and i tell them hey we have a purpose and so what we encourage them to do is have a purpose-driven life and in my opinion our purpose each one of us is to serve each other and Mm -hmm. so that's what we're encouraging the kids to do is to not wait to be served but to to serve others and be there for each other and i think if they do that uh once we start connecting with our purpose i think we stop reaching for things to fill that void sure absolutely and it probably would remedy a number of things not just maybe even drug abuse maybe even some bullying and things oh my gosh man for sure you nailed it and and i'm it's so cool that you said that because that's that's been brought up is what you said there's more things than just drug use and and self-harm Yep. bullying, I mean, you, you name it, and you nailed it. I mean, and there's just so many things that I think comes out of people not feeling connected to each other. Exactly. Once you don't feel that other people are human and there's not a connection, I mean, it's just bad for you. It's bad for everyone. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Every now and then, put the phone down. Yeah, yeah that's put the right. phone down, pick that's a right. guitar up, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 By yeah. the way, did you bring a guitar? We did, bro. All right. We did. Where is it at? It's right here. I, I'm ready to hear this. I feel like Ron Burgundy. Oh, I'm not prepared. Oh, here we go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, here's my guitar. Oh. You're in a room full of them. Yeah. <laughs> Who brings a trident? Right, right, right. <laughs> Actually, my flute player is right in the hall. Oh, yeah. Come on out. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. Come on down. Right, yeah. No, so what we got? What are you going to sing for us? Um, so if we're playing a song, well, I'll let Dave, would you like us to play tattoos? Yeah, go we ahead. Play go, something different. We can do tattoos. Tattoos. Yeah. Well, here is the song that we're promoting. And again, I want to thank y'all and country radio, um, for giving us the platform to do this school tour. And, uh, you know, the kids, they don't want to hear somebody via their basement. No. <laughs> right, but right, They're right. excited to have somebody with a little something going. Anyway, this song's very special to me. It's called Tattoos, a song about second chances. Walking through the parking lot to the grocery store I saw a woman walking up, I smiled and grabbed the door But she won't look me in the eye And that don't come as no surprise today I'm damn near covered head to toe 
I think I picked up on the road And a couple that I got done in the pen And I see the way they look away When I come walking through You wouldn't think I'd feel a thing But sometimes I still do But I promise that these old tattoos Haunt me more than they scare you But I'll still wear them proud every day These old tattoos remind me of the sins The good Lord washed away The good Lord washed away This one here's the very first I got it just 14 I got it when my nana passed The only one that cared about me And after that All I had was the bottle and cocaine To feel love So on that day I hit the road just a lost and wandering soul And painted that whole journey on my skin And I see the way they look away When I come walking through You wouldn't think I'd feel a thing But sometimes I still do But I promise that these old tattoos Haunt me more than they scare you But I'll still wear them proud every day these old tattoos remind me of the sins the good Lord washed away. Most were done with the smell of whiskey on my breath. And even though I was numb inside, I could feel it on my flesh. Most I can't remember, but the one thing I can't seem to forget Is when I see the way they look away When I come walking through You wouldn't think I'd feel a thing But sometimes I still do But I promise that these old tattoos Haunt me more than they scare you But I'll still wear them proud every day These old tattoos remind me of the sins The good Lord washed away the good Lord washed away Well done I loved it well, thank you. Awesome thank it, was, you. it was even better in person well, Thank you, that's very sweet of you, I appreciate that <laughs> Honestly, Enjoyed it. it was thank great, you. yes I'm honored, thank um, you I think that, I, you know, at least here I know at Daybreak Morning Show we, we, first of all, we love our teachers Oh yeah And so I think it's so cool that you are a former teacher And that yeah. you've, you've got this connection with the kids anyway And what a great, great, great message that you're getting out there well, for them I, 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 we just, we look forward to seeing you just soar. I'm sure you that. Well, thank you. Positive Absolutely. that you will. That's sweet. I appreciate that. I, that's, that's way better than the alternative. I really, <laughs> I appreciate that so much and it's a joy to be here and, and yeah, I feel, I, I guess I still feel like a teacher at heart. So it's uh, very sweet of you guys to, yeah, to express your support of teachers. They need it. They oh, need yes. it. All the people oh, in the classroom yes. need oh, it. Oh my gosh. Yes. We know what West Virginia has went through and well, I tell you. It's starting to go through it now. We're doing yep. it here now. <laughs> and I tell you, man, teachers, I've always said, you know, you don't go to school that long to make what you do because you don't love kids. No. You That's know, right. They love what they do. So God bless them. Yes, and, absolutely. You know, after that performance, we forgive you for the whole Ohio thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Thank we'll you. overlook it. Thank you, yeah. Shane. If someone wants to get your song or, or learn more about everything that's going on with mm -hmm. you, where do they need to go? You know, uh, you can find me about anywhere by looking up Shane Runyon, and my last name is spelled like Union with an R, R U N I O N. So you can okay. find me shanerunyon.com. Everything is at Shane Runyon, Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter, but my MySpace. Is that no, oh, no, okay. no, 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 no,
uh, right before I started teaching, <laughs> I had hair down to my shoulders. Was it? So my, I didn't have a goth stage, okay. but I definitely had my like hippie. We like spent yeah. a summer in the Outer Banks playing yeah. music, starving to death. Now, you know. That's, so that was my weird No, you, you did it right. Yeah. 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 Not, I it was fun. You ain't mad at that? You ain't mad at that? One of my favorite no. places Some John Mayer? Come yeah. on, give me some. No. No. What? No. Yeah, did we just no. lose the thing? Yeah, oh, we did. Yeah. We Thanks had for a cut. thing. Oh, Thanks for coming, Jane. <laughs> oh, man. Next Appreciate he's going to tell me he likes Phil Collins, and then it's like, done, done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. This is my he favorite does. part. This is my favorite part. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Well, we're so glad that you came today. Thank you fun. so By much. By the way, this thing doesn't work out. You've got a killer set of pipes. I think he's got a future in radio. I know. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, man. Shh, thanks. I've been thinking and that the whole time. He was, he was like, on a roll there for a half a second. Well, yeah. thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. I'll, I'll be, a, uh, I'll be a, a guest part of the team any day. Anytime right. we roll awesome. through Pikeville. Perfect. Right. You're welcome back anytime. Absolutely. Thanks, brother. We anytime. appreciate that. It's 736, and we need to take a break and a caller. Give us a call right now if you'd like to play trivia with us. 437-1240, star 931 on your Appalachian wireless phone. Bye.